Do I hear it? Do I hear it? Yeah! Baby! <laughs> We're alive! Yeah, I just I'm starting to feel it in my head and I've lost some feet in there and the rock's a little loose and I don't think it's a safe decision to do it at night. So we're in a bit of a tricky position here where we're up on this third class ridge line. It's getting harder and we're getting more tired. We've got less and less daytime and we're kind of stuck up here because we can't really go further safely. So I think we're going to do a dramatic reroute and really hope that we could go down this drainage and rip some trail. But dramatic change here. We're rolling with the punches. Well, it was a tough and quick call to come off of the main route that we're trying to do, but it resulted in this pretty epic camp spot that I'm pretty sure potentially no one has ever camped at because there's absolutely no reason to be here unless you bail off of a route that you weren't prepared to do. <laughs> that only five people have done. <laughs> Go for the high one. Day three. Just woke up, we're at the point where everyone's just silently getting ready and nobody's talking, so you know we're hiking. <laughs> we begin the day three with a mystery. Will we be able to exit this valley or are we absolutely screwed? We will find out shortly, probably in the next hour. I just know if we are screwed, I'm having a full on temper tantrum and making everyone's lives hell. So. Does it go? I think so. Yeah. Out of a small act of God, we found this trail, the Bitch Creek Trail. After our creek down climbing and a lot of bushwhacking. But we're on a trail now, and we're gonna be on a trail for a very long time. Not only did we not go as far as we wanted yesterday, we added mileage. So we have to get like 50 miles in the next two days, so. Of boring walking also.
Hour 10, mile 17. We are back in Teton National Park and the trails have gotten wider and less steep, which is nice because we've done a crazy amount of vert today. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Probably like 11,000 feet of vert. Munt will put the actual number right here though. Got in pretty late last night. Turns out this camp spot is pretty sweet and there's a shitload of people around here. I think we woke everybody up, but you know, sorry. Uh, 21 miles left today down to Teton Pass over Mount Glory. Well, we are back. We have our vehicles. We successfully zigzagged through the Tetons. It was sweet. Out of the 70 miles we did, 60 were absolutely spectacular. And the other 10 weren't that bad anyway. So, didn't get my feet wet once. Uh, stepped over about one down tree, maybe two tops. I'd call it a success.